all some things. I want to share um, just some common mistakes or things to think about regarding the mezuzah on your front door. Obviously, the halacha is you should put have a mezuzah on every door in your house, um, aside from your bathroom and other smaller rooms. Um, but uh, we're going to talk about the front door. So here are a few laws to think about regarding the front door. And there's, some of them are, are mistakes that very religious people make in, on their front doors as well. All right, the first one is just uh, the mezuzah is supposed to be placed on the top third of the doorpost. Most doorposts are like 80 inches. So you'll, um, you'll take, I usually do it like 24 inches down. 26 is a third. So 24 inches down um, going up put the mezuzah. Um, it has to be, it can't be, it could be within this whole area here up to like four inches from the top. Okay, so you make sure it's placed in the right place. It's connected to tefillin in Parshat Shema, just like the tefillin is on our top third of our body. The mezuzah is on the top third of the doorpost. That's something to think about. Um, I wrote to myself here. Also think about uh, having waterproof case, a uh, waterproof case on the front door. Um, somebody's mezuzah, uh, that I checked, it wasn't a waterproof case. It actually wasn't a strong case. And they went to go see um, what was the status of the mezuzah, and it wasn't even in there. <laughs> it slipped out because because it, it's it's windy outside. You know, some people have like within an internal door, but you have to be careful to put a strong uh, case. And some people put screws instead of uh, tape on the front door, so it'll be fastened very tightly um, uh, and protected from the conditions. So here's another diagram. I don't know if you could see this. It's a very, wa- a very thick wall. Um, very thick wall where the door is. Okay? So you, you would put, you're going to put the mezuzah as close to the, to the outside as possible. So the mezuzah here is placed here, although the wall's thick. Similarly, like in your, if you're putting in your house, you have a thick wall, you're going to put it closer to when you first step into the, to that, to that room or into this doorway and not further in, closer, closer to the exit as possible, closer to the street, closer to the exit as possible, uh, within four inches from that space. So we're going to have it as close as possible. One understanding behind that, the way to remember it is you want the room to be as protected as possible. So if you have it further in, then that whole area until there is not protected. So you want to have it as far back as possible. And here are three more diagrams. Anybody recognize this place? Do you see it? Old City, Shari Afo. Okay, do they have a mezuzah there? Anybody know? You guys see it at home? They do have a mezuzah there, okay? The location of the mezuzah. So this is a very large doorpost, right? Very tall. If you see, here's a person right here, right? It's like five times the size of that person, you know, five, maybe seven times as tall as the person, okay? So you're going to place it a third up. Nobody's ever going to get access to a third down from the top. No one's ever going to access that mezuzah. So very interesting. So the Sephardic, I was reading Rabbi Vadi Yosef Sephardic halacha, he says, doesn't matter. Put on the top third. That's the law. But um, other saying, Ashkenazi halacha is that you put it um, at, your, at your shoulder length, shoulder height. And that's what it is. If you go through the Shari Afo, um, even though it's very, very tall, it's at shoulder height because otherwise it'd be out of sight, out of mind. So um, that's another law with regards to very high doorposts. Two more Two more things to think about. And this is what my, at my friend's house, it looked like this. He has um, a, a sliding glass door that's stationary. Is a, sta- a sliding glass door and a stationary glass pane door. It's a like glass door that doesn't move. Then he has a, a sliding glass door, something similar to this, like a stationary door, and then an, a door that opens. Can you see that? So where are you going to put the mezuzah? Are you going to put it here on on around on the outside of the whole doorpost or on the outside of the, 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 the area that doesn't move, the stationary part. So the answer, he had it actually on the outside of the whole doorpost. Um, that's not what you're supposed to do. This does not function as a door. So this would be considered your doorpost. You put it um, on that space. I'll show you guys at home. On that space on the stationary door. That's, one of your, that's considered your doorpost for the sake of the mezuzah. One final uh, thing to think about is uh, you have a case where you can't fit a mezuzah on a door. So let's say, I don't know if you can see the picture, it's a door that, open, it's a door that opens and there's no mezuzah. There's no space to put a mezuzah. So where do you put the mezuzah? You could get my question, like you have a time, you open, the hinge, the hinge is, the door, is on the door itself and you have no space to, to put a mezuzah on that doorpost. So what do you do? So um, the ideal thing to do if you can is 
to do an engraving in the wood and then put the mezuzah inside. So you don't have to have a fancy case for mezuzah. Yeah, a simple thing, you put it in. Uh, if you can't do that, um, you can put it on the outside of the door. So that's what it looks like here. For, for Sephardim, they can't. But for Ashkenaz, you can. Uh, you put it on the outside of the door. Make sure it's within the th- uh, three and a half inches from the door. So don't like just place it really far away. It's as close as possible on the outside of the door. Um, so that when you walk in, you can touch the mezuzah and kiss it. One more thing is, two more things. Number one, um, uh, kissing the mezuzah is a big thing, but if you can't kiss the mezuzah in some way or reach it, it's not, like, that's not the essence of the mitzvah. Uh, number two, um, if you can't place it on a diagonal slant, you can always place it straight. It's most important, the placement, that it's there in the right place um, and that, instead of the fact that it's on an angle. Angle is ideal, but, but if you can't,